They're making runs for the briar patch. They go in there and we'll lose them. Increase the maximum impulse. We're not letting them get away this time. Increasing the full impulse. They're returning fire. Shields holding. This is the Federation Starship Independence to the Jeffrey War. Stand down or we will force to continue fire. They're sending the Kinema report. They want the Council of the Neutral Party. I didn't see them mediating with a neutral party when they started 20 columns back there. Tell them to stand down or we will grant the request. I'm afraid they were stalling, ma'am. Two more warships approaching. Spurt out. Evasion maneuvers. Open fire. <laughs> One down. Lock torpedoes on target. Fire on my command. Torpedoes locked. Fire. Shields down to 68%. Make another run for the patch. Prepare to intercept the lockout tractor beam. Captain, we're receiving another distress call. This one from El Beto Colony. They're under attack. Go to the patch in 10 seconds. What do we do, ma'am? Set course for the colony. Maximum war. Yes, ma'am. All advice are on our way. Engage. Time to know Beto. One hour, fifteen minutes. One ship just isn't enough to control the three. Captain's log, start eight five three zero two four point one. The Angelus and Pathfinder are transporting personnel back to Earth following the end of the Dominion War. Admiral Lott? Captain Wilcox. Oh, sir. Uh, can I talk to you about my crew for a moment? Of course. Fleet Captain Cole left on a special mission just as we were offloading our non-essential personnel. And most of my crew has been given different ship assignments. He took the brunt of the brain attack, I heard. You're to be commended for your bravery. Thank you, sir. About your crew, Captain Cole has a special assignment from Starfleet. I'm afraid it's classified. These are tough times for the Federation. I understand. Max always looked at the bright side. I just never imagined that there wouldn't be a bright side. Admiral Cervantes? He was a good man. He's a good friend. Do you know how he died? During the brain attack on Earth, I heard. He didn't give them a shred of information. He died a hero. It isn't fair. Cheer up, Captain. The war is over. About your crew, let me contact Starfleet. See if I can find some answers for you. Thank you, Admiral. Oh, hi, Captain. Eddie, how are you? I'm okay. My arm is hurting, but it'll be fine. Well, sorry to hear about that. That won't be affecting your career plans, I hope, is it? Not for a minute, Captain. Have you been over to the Pathfinder yet? I hear Captain Lane runs a pretty tight ship over there. I went there yesterday. It was very nice of you to recommend him for the position. Oh, what are friends for? Unfortunately, we have other pressing matters. I know. I get the feeling this crew isn't going to be getting back together. We'll see. I'll just be glad to be back on Earth again. We've been away far too long. You're right about that, Captain. Any word yet if they're going to give you another apartment? Nah, but my old place was leveled during the great attack. So but maybe I'll find a place to occur. You might be close to the old sky. That'd be great! Uh, have you heard from Stress yet? No. When I first heard that the Sutherland was missing, I couldn't sleep for weeks. 
But I know Scott's out there. It's just taking him some time to get home. And I wish I could see things that way. <sighs> some of my crew is never coming back. And that's how you do it. Give it some time. Denise, you're like family to me. You're welcome to stay here as long as you like. Besides, it's great having you around again. Until Scott comes back.